se pogledam, kažem sebi, u, mašala. Mi možemo da se vrlo nekako 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 nekako. Alfa i omega, kažem sebi, u, mašala. Hey, you guys, we are less than 24 hours away from the grand wow. final of the Eurovision Song Contest 2024. That means we have just finished the jury show, the jury show for the grand final. 26 countries sang, well, actually 25 countries sang, and the 26th, the Netherlands, had a tape played of an earlier rehearsal. In any case, shall we talk about the jury final of Eurovision 2024? Let's do this! But before we do that, I want to remind you that this year WeeWeeBlogs has partnered with Match Bingo. They are a gaming for good app and they gamify things and that includes Eurovision. This year they have a brand new Eurovision app and you scratch, you don't scratch the bingo card, it's digital, but you download it. It'll say things like 12 points to the UK, one to seven points to Italy. And then if that happens, you scratch it off. You win money by matching a row or filling the card. You can win some money, honey, but I should point out, I have to point out. <laughs> did you just? <laughs> Y'all making this video real unprofessional. In any case, I have to point out, this goes to charity. This is gaming for good. And the proceeds will help support the East Anglian Air Ambulance in the UK. That is EAAA. They provide vital helicopter medical assistance to those in need across the east of England. And by purchasing these bingo cards, you can download some for free at the link in the description, or by scanning this QR code, you help them do their vital service. Because honestly, when you need to get to hospital, a helicopter is often the fastest way to get you there. So this is gaming for good. In any case, you guys, we've got to talk about the grand final. I want to start with us just going around with a standout moment or something that struck us. It can, it can be anything, starting with Suzanne. Um, can you start? All right, <laughs> I'll just go ahead and start. I think for me, we have to address the Joost Klein situation. This is an evolving situation regarding the Dutch contestant, and a lot of information has not been revealed. That's because there's an ongoing investigation that now involves the police. At the time of filming this, um, the police in Malmö have spoken with SVT, the Swedish broadcaster, and they are reporting that there is a police presence investigating whatever happened. We don't know what this incident was, and we're not going to speculate, but the Dutch contestant was not allowed to perform, and he won't be allowed to perform until this investigation concludes. Now, when they announced this in the arena, there was booing. There was significant booing. Mm -hmm. And then when Joost Klein did not appear on stage in Spot 5, and instead they played a videotape of his performance from an early rehearsal, he got huge applause. So the audience was like, what is going on? They were showing love for Joost Klein. They clearly want him here. The, way, the reason I'm discussing this is because I wonder what the juries were told. Were jurors told the Dutch contestant is under investigation and therefore won't perform? Because that could bias the jury against oh, the yeah. Netherlands. It it's could sad. really affect perception. Um, at the same time, even if they didn't tell the jurors that, it's very clear that the jurors would Google and they would come across all sorts of tweets, articles, speculation, etc. I understand why we don't have transparency at this point because it is an ongoing investigation, but this is my opening gambit. I think the Netherlands was likely hurt because of this, because the jurors would have had this floating around in their head, and if it's a serious crime or something, they don't want to be associated with it, potentially. Ooh. Yeah, like, it's not the best way to end the Eurovision 2024 season. Um, it's... Literally, we are not united at this point. Like, it's sad because the grand final is here. Literally, today, it's like uh, 12.32 at the moment. And I, when I, you know, stepped in the media center today, everybody were, oh my gosh, they were so stressed, so sad. So, I mean, the, that energy, the negative energy was so, like, so powerful. I thought that, oh my gosh, am I in the media center of Eurovision 2024 or where I am? It, it's really sad that, you know, this happened and it's still happening and that tension is there and stuff. Yeah, it's just people, I don't know. Let's let's not forget that we live only once and this is this is Eurovision and um yeah, let's not make everything so complicated because 
you know, this is what we are doing. All like, right, thank you so much. Suzanne, do you have a comment on the jury show? It doesn't have to be about Yost Klein. It can be about anything. Actually, let's rewind to Sinan, because you were, <laughs> do you have another thought about the jury final so that we're not duplicating? Um, interestingly, we were not so many press in the jury final. Normally, the jury final is like big, you know, like every single press is there. But uh, tonight wasn't that, you know, the case. But it was still uh, cool. Um, a lot of the performances, you know, a lot of the countries, they did their best performances, like literally uh, for the juries. And some of them really, um, you know, emptied up you know from Who? the rehearsals uh for example switzerland i think switzerland was amazing like nemo slayed in every single way you know vocally and you know uh, stagingly and th that was really really uh, amazing performance and khalid oh my gosh she, mm. she closed the show with such high energy and vocals mm. and everything was perfect uh for her and of course croatia i must Let's say can we forget. pause though on Kathleen? i love Kathleen desperately there is one moment though when they fling her over their shoulders and then she's dismounting she's great they're great but the camera work is not good because mm. it looks looks like she's fallen and is injured and they're dragging her. You don't see what's going Maybe on. Maybe that's the idea. No, it doesn't work yeah. though. It doesn't work. I think she's doing everything perfectly. Her dancers are doing everything perfectly. Yeah. The choreography is great. It's just the camera work. It's too close and we don't know what's happening. Hmm. Well, it, the other night I thought she'd been injured in that moment. It looked like she was injured and like limping. No, she's raving. That's called rave Listen, move. Like, it, the limp is not a rave. If that happened to me at rave, I would call the police, okay? <laughs> call 911, girl. girl. <laughs> All right, Suzanne. No, yeah, and Cro sorry. Oh, please. No, no. Croatia, no. Uh, absolutely amazing. I know that it's it's probably not uh, winning the jury vote, but you, you never know, actually, uh, because the energy was unbelievably high you know everybody were dancing and also in the press center they were doing yeah you know that uh, dance move and vocally he was on point like bravo let's actually pause before we come to suzanne and discuss croatia yeah yeah i think we all know that this will do very well with the televote and less well with the jury therefore for him this is a game of getting as high as you can with the jury, jury. to stay in contention for the win mm -hmm. and i honestly feel like this performance he it was his best performance he's getting stronger with each performance and jurors are more likely to like this than they were yesterday or the day before it just mm -hmm. it keeps getting stronger so i think he definitely did what he needed to do to get that jury love the jurors are not immune to the energy coming through the television and I think you could feel the energy coming through that feed tonight and I think it is going to do better than people expect I think this will outperform Karia in terms of jury placement yeah same I think that this song is uh, for me personally also I think in terms of reaction and stuff better than Karia's uh, musically, so, uh, the sound and uh, even even the the whole story is uh, for me, especially personally, uh, you know, better. Um, how can I say it? Better t told, told, mm -hmm. and also it's English. You know, every single person will understand. You know, the words and stuff, and uh, yeah. Thoughts on Croatia. Well, we know that Croatia is my number one. Um, I have not wanted anyone to win quite like this since Monaskin in 2021. And every single time I see this performance, I like it more and more and more, which is hard to do with your number one. Yeah, well said. And do you think that professional jurors will get behind this? So... Initially, no. I thought it was a little wild and maybe messy, but it's meant to be messy, right? But the the neon animals and the dancing cats <laughs> and, you know, the simple staging or the simple choreography, I think it's really good. And yes, I do. And something else I would say is the charisma. When he finished the performance, he wasn't like overwhelmed, but he was sincerely joyous. He had this sweet smile on his face as he walked off. Jurors will be clocking that. You're not immune to that. I really think that the charisma is what's selling this. It's him. It's He looks like a rock star. When that performance finished, he's got that bleached hair all mussed up, wearing that outfit. He looks 
he just looks good. He looks the part, and that's part of the battle. So, well done to him. Now, I want to bring up France. We have all been talking about how France is a potential jury winner. We've all said this. And the acapella moment is one of the big selling points of this performance. Tonight, full disclosure, there was a croak. There was a very big vocal... It wasn't Little Babe. There was a gasp in the press room. Do you remember, Suzanne? There was an oh, audible yeah. gasp. But I think that shows the high standard that we all keep slamming to, that we even noticed that. Um, but yeah, I don't think that kills his chances with the jury. I still think the jury will absolutely get behind this because the other two minutes and 59 seconds were flawless. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because it was like a one second croak and everyone yeah, gasped. It lasted no. a little longer than a second. Okay, you're. Oh, 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 oh okay. Tell, tell it here. Please take no, the mic I mean, and tell us how you felt about Slamen tonight. No, Slamen is wonderful. Oh, she got the mic. She got um, the girl. I like having this mic. Um, oh, Lord, I've made a mistake. I. I did feel like it lasted longer than a second, maybe two to four. Um, I also felt like he stepped further away from the mic than he had. Mm. Oh, interesting. Maybe I'm wrong. You can put it out your mouth, huh? Maybe I'm wrong, but it did feel like he stepped further away from the mic. That's all I gotta say. Stop! You're gonna give me an Ali Alexander moment. <laughs> no, I think I think he he maybe tried too too hard, you know, to mm. do that, you know, a cappella because. Obviously, this is the jury voting, and I think France wants to win the jury vote. So that's why I think he tried just too hard. Maybe that's why, you know, that moment was was there. All right. Oh gosh, sticking that in my face. Um, yeah. I honestly, this is great, and I feel like he's a contender to win the jury vote. But another country I honestly think could do well with the jury is Ukraine, even if they're performing in spot number two. A, I don't think jurors are as impacted by running order as the people. I really don't. And I think that this Ukrainian performance was absolutely beautiful. I encourage all of you to watch the interview they gave us just before the jury show. They're so thoughtful and everything has symbolism in their performance. Everything carries a meaning from the opening flood where Jerry Heil is fleeing, finding salvation on the rock um, to Alione Alione and the shadows behind her. You know, she said these could be her dead friends and you know, people, yeah, colleagues, etc., in Ukraine because of the war. And she says they haunt her and are with her. This is so well thought out and it really tugs on heartstrings. And I think more so than any other Ukrainian entry in recent memory, it's not divisive. There's sort of a universal praise for this. Sure, the odd person, occasional, I don't mean odd like freakish, I mean the occasional person will say <laughs> it's um, too much for them or they think, oh, you know, these saints. Yeah. But most people, the overwhelming majority, seem to really respect this I think this could do very well with the juries Suzanne so I'll take the mic thank you very much um, so I I listed six songs that I think the jury is really going to like um, France being the first and Ukraine being the second I'm not elaborating yeah. past that <laughs> All right, although I would like to know actually this is not really an elaboration on the staging it's more of a question about the staging you know when they're lying there with all of the other women yeah they're and not there. see non and I, yes well see non and i noticed the other women were like moving their hands or whatever they're alive why would you do it where the heck are those women coming from okay oh, they're the divas yes. they're, honey they're not they're in the arena they're, they're not yes. in the arena it's an image, it's an image. It's an image. girl image. did you really it's ask if they all walked on the stage and laid down they're not allowed to have more than six I've heard it all. Oh, no. I've heard it all. Like they're I have. They're, they're not dead. They're not still there. So they hands. they clarified that those women include, you know, win winners of the Nobel Prize, activists. They're famous Ukrainian women. So this will speak to a domestic audience. And for them, it was important to show that Ukraine is here. Ukraine makes contributions. And Ukraine will continue to exist, you know, in the face of what it's going through right now. Sinan. Oh, I, I didn't talk about Ukraine. Uh, oh, just pure uh, magic on the stage always when Jerry Heil, her Jerry Heil and Aliona Aliona are there uh, especially Jerry Heil I mean those vocals every time she performs on that rock I get goosebumps it's so emotional it's so powerful it's so uh, melodically sung uh, from her and I don't think that the performance is like um, what you said not messy but like too much for people yeah i don't know it's like it's like very like 
you know, simple but very effective. Um, and oh my gosh, so beautiful. Like, Zloty It Dushi really is love. beautiful. That's all. I'm tired. Same. And I'm editing videos while we do this, or rather tags. Um, okay, who else? I already did the No, but honey, all the tags are about the shopping mall, not about the interview. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, that's not gonna help. All right, so. Um, Don't do that. <laughs> Right, so... <laughs> okay, can we continue, please? Yes, let's continue. I'm just line. scanning through this list, trying to see Ooh, who else could girl. win with the... Can I just the... tell you who I think mine are? Yeah, can you hold on one second? Yeah. One second. Let's talk about Italy. Do either of you think that Italy could still win the jury vote? I bring this up because Italy has been falling in the odds. However, Italy remains, in my mind anyways, an incredibly beautiful song that is incredibly well delivered. I think jurors really do care about someone's performance capability and Angelina Mango has performance dripping out of her. Tonight, I think she was one of the best ones. I mean, especially uh, she changed her outfit yeah. again. Girl, stop changing those outfits. But this, this is the best one. Uh, and vocally, uh, she was she she's always on point. But tonight, it felt like it was even even better. And especially that um, you know the bridge of the song where the camera spins around her. It's so beautiful. And then the golden shower. Like, I was ready to get there and then shower with her and, you know, feel that energy you know, not, of... You cannot reference a golden shower and you and Angelina Mango together. <laughs> Why? Just keep going. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, and I absolutely love, love, love the song. It's one of, for me personally, one of the most uh, like quality-wise songs because Italians always... You know, oh my gosh, we have somebody oh, coming. Woo um, so yeah, let's talk about the golden shower. What does golden shower mean to you? Okay, so hold on. Let, let, let's just let's let's pull this up on Google. So this is like, guys, whoever is watching, please take it as a um, like a advertisement before we continue. So yeah, we're we're, we're going to Google this. Maybe it's an Urban Dictionary thing. What are you looking up? Golden shower. Can we not talk about urination? It's just not appropriate. Why urination? All right, we're going to move on. Listen, okay. we're going to move shower on. may refer to urolax. It's not a meteorological a event. Term for the practice of urinating on another person for sexual Okay, I am just, uh, you know what? Okay, we move yeah. on. So we move on. Suzanne, can Italy win the jury vote? You know, interestingly, I forgot about Italy tonight. It was oh. not one of the six I listed. Um, I would say what yes. Well, it's very telling that you didn't include it on your list of but potential you know winners. That this is not, for whatever reason, this is just not one of my favorites, which is probably why I forgot it. All right. Well, why don't we cut to the chase? Do you. Sanat. Girl. <laughs> Do you have a short list of potential jury winners? Actually, no. Uh, <laughs> but but I can say like right now, just 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 like uh, you know, um, looking at I think I think uh, Switzerland uh, was amazing. Nemo um, delivered uh, great great vocals and spinning on that platform. Um, um, I don't know about France. I think France actually, might let's come can we second. pause? Let's pause and actually focus on Switzerland for a minute because okay. we haven't really discussed Nemo or their performance. Um, in the running order, they perform after Cyprus and before Slovenia. Mm -hmm. So you've got Lady plus dancers before. You've got Lady plus dancers after. <laughs> lady but, plus dancers. Honestly, it's a lady sandwich, and in the middle is named Nemo. <laughs> but Nemo's all alone on this spinning disc. Suzanne, do you think this could win with the jury? I do. I listed it as my number fourth for the jury. So that's your personal four or the jury's four? The jury's four. Okay, and why did you do that? It's just very well put together, very well choreographed. I The roller derby moment just really gets me. Uh, you have to put the mic towards your The face. roller derby <laughs> moment really gets me every single time. Um, and then I just, I love the spinning disc at the end. And it's just such a beautiful performance. And I'm so glad that Nemo got rid of the Santa Claus beard. She's not taking an ambient, but they, she's acting as if she has. And by the way, they... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was Bambi Thug over there. Go. Ah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 
by the way, Nemo always smile. Be, uh, you know, during that performance, they I are also so yes. Can I not talk? No. Okay. All right, so Nemo, I think the jurors will respect the mind-bending journey through different genres, right? It really shouldn't work as a song because it's going through opera, rap, drum and bass, R&B, and yet somehow it does work. And I think Nemo is the secret sauce in that formula. When they start rapping, I'm shocked, right? They're coming at you in this, right. how, I don't even know how to describe this clothing. Like... Venus Fashion you know Week. When when they're climbing the disc, mm -hmm. and it's like the beat, and you almost hear him breathe, hear them breathing hard. Yes, yes, breath breath <laughs> is vital at the Eurovision Song Contest. Um, all right, why don't we go around, Suzanne? What was on your list? Which songs do you think could win with the jury? Rank order, please. France, Ukraine, Norway. <gasps> oh. Let's talk about Norway. Oh, this is oh. a dark horse okay. to do well with the jury. Well, Honestly, the jury? I don't know about when. Well, if you watch, say you're a TV producer, you're going to respect the camera cuts because when you actually watch that, if you watch it, it is so clever. The different angles, the approach, the building intensity, the intensity of the song mirrors the visuals and vice versa. Because you start with some water and you end with a flood. Do the the sheep call for us? No, it, you know what? There are people who are trying to sleep, so no, we're not going. We're not going. I'm talking about in the rest of the building. Girl, you're so loud, you're gonna wake up four too. Sorry? And it's a goat. The goat call. <laughs> Why me? I didn't think. No, we're not doing it. Long. Okay, so yeah, uh, Norway, oh my god, I still think that Norway at the end, uh, they will be like top five. With the jury or overall? Overall. Yeah, I don't yeah. Like with the jury, I have no idea. Like, girl, it was I funny. After MGP, there was so much hype. They were third favorite to win, and it slowly just fell off the radar. Yes. So maybe people, you know, at some point people will, will forget for about some countries because they are 26. Let's not forget that. And then we have like a few countries that are really like favorite, favorite, favorite to win, and the passion goes there, and you know, uh, and the love. And some countries will be just just forgotten, sadly. All right, Susan, I'm so sorry I interrupted your list. Could you start over? France, mm -hmm. Ukraine, mm -hmm. Norway, mm -hmm. Switzerland. Israel, Sweden. Oh, oh Sweden? Jury? Okay. Well, actually, okay, well, we have Interesting. to... Let's actually why briefly... Not? We have to discuss Israel because you've brought let's this up. Stop yes? Stop so do, <laughs> why do you think Israel could win the jury vote? It's just so well put together. I love when Eden opens up with that back bend. Um, but I know that, William, you're not a fan of the dancers, but I love the way it seems as though they are supporting her. And then you've got like you're in the sky and then you have like you're ending with either a sunrise or a sunset. Oh, yeah. And it's just, I don't know, vocally, she's amazing. I really love the dress. And I just felt like there are clear kind of breaks in the staging, but it all runs well together. So I want to kind of talk about this in the context of Baby Lasagna. We talked about how his energy, the energy from the audience came through the TV screen. And if you're a voter, you're not immune to sort of the cheering. This may have the opposite effect. There is audible booing. Tonight, there was a lot of booing in the intro and the outro in particular. Um, and I don't know if people at home will be immune to hearing that. Even if the EBU covers that up with the applause, which I think they've been doing, um, I think some of the booing may still come through. So I don't know how that would go. That could create sympathy or it could encourage people not to vote. Um, in any case, I, I do wonder if jurors, what's the word, yeah. will be worried about putting their name next to this because of, the of what's happening in the real world. So, you know, jurors are part of the real wor world too, and it's, they're probably also a microcosm of the world, and so there are many beliefs uh, within any jury. So we're gonna have to wait and see. The croissant is really good. I, I love know, that transition. I love that transition from jury to chocolate croissant. Um, what, what do you think of well, I mean, my opinion hasn't changed. I, the dancing doesn't work for me. Um, all right, so you said France, Ukraine, Norway, Israel, and then who else? Sweden. Sure. Sweden, and Norway. what was the last one, Suzanne? You know, Sweden. That's five. France, Norway, Nor... France, hey, France, oh my gosh. France, Ukraine, mm, Norway, Switzerland, Israel, Switzerland. Sweden. Thank you so much. Sweet. Oh. All right, so Sweet. you have to decide now. We need a top three at least. Didn't I say it? You can repeat. I forgot. 
<laughs> no, real. Uh, well, Switzerland. I think Switzerland is still in the game. You know, for for the jury votes. But you already talked about Switzerland, didn't you? And um, <laughs> getting a I think I think uh, France could be a second position, and third position. Oh, I'm so sorry. I think Croatia with the jury. Yeah. I don't know why. I just get that feeling. It's not because I really want Eurovision back in the Balkans. Of course I do want. But I don't know. I just get that feeling that he will do great no, with the jury. Because exactly. every, especially every single country in the Balkans, like especially the Yugoslavia, you know, Serbia, Slovenia, uh, they will go for, like, they will give their 12 points to, to, to Croatia, you know, the, the jury votes. And also, um... We have like Moldova, I think, uh, w would give like Poland. Um, who else? Who else? Like even Ukraine, like because they are Slavic countries, you know. I think every single Slavic country will go for uh, Croatia. Yeah, and that includes the even, even Finland, you know, because it's, uh, you know, they love rock, Norway, like, oh, like literally, I feel like Croatia will do amazing with the juries. All right, you know what? I was gonna say France, however, I think Ukraine really has a chance with the jury, even if it's performing in second, because you've got to remember, jurors are not just music people, they're TV people, and that's really good TV. Ukraine has thought every detail through, it's very emotionally impactful. Um, yeah, yeah, no, so anyway, France or Ukraine is my winner, and then I would say Norway, Norway. Yeah, France, Ukraine, Norway are my top three. And then, as a, if I'm thinking as a juror, not as a William Lee Adams, as a juror. Vote, girl. Um, but Vote. I do think Croatia could be top five with the jury, definitely. All right, well, look, we need to wrap this up because it's like nearly 1 a.m. Yeah. Just, I'm just going to shout out. Is there anyone else in this apartment who would like to chime in briefly? You don't have to say yes. I'm just asking. What's the question? I just need a winner, an opinion about the jury. Um, oh. It would help if you're near the mic, oh, to be honest. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Have the denim shorts on. Can you scoot over, please? Do you know what? We'll I think. Right. Hello, everyone. Um, oh God, I'm losing my voice. Um, it was loud in the arena. Um, Switzerland. We in the frame, Suzanne. That be. That's inappropriate. Bitch. Get, yeah. out <laughs> Get out of the way, bitch. Get out of the way. Oh my lord. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna give it to Switzerland. I thought they they killed it tonight, and I'm I'm not the biggest fan of the song, but I you can't deny it was brilliant on stage tonight. Mm -hmm. I think there we go. Uh, both uh, musically and visually, I just think it was so strong. I mean, there's such a strong performer, the vocals, the acrobatics, yeah, everything. It really came together. Wow, they've cracked the code with this one. And who are your other um, top three? Uh, a Greece really got me. Um, yes. um, I love Armenia. I just like how all the ones with a bit of spice and make Armenia. it a bit fun. <laughs> That's slightly unhinged, which is what I think is uh, right. But I love, it. I love it. She's so fun. <laughs> and you want to watch her. Um, and then Ireland. Ireland. <gasps> we didn't talk about That's Ireland. Actually, this is a really good point. So we've been discussing how Ireland is a potential dark horse. But with juries? Do you think Ireland could do well with the jury? Uh, with the jury, I mean, I, I think if the jury are voting on things like the movement as well, I mean, the dancing is really strong, but the vocals are strong. The vocals are just interesting to me. <laughs> Could you say that a little louder, please? The vocals are just interesting <laughs> to me. <laughs> you know, she's not actually drunk anything this evening. Um, I think she's just sleep deprived. It's been a really long two weeks, and we're in the oh final stretch. Um, no more tears, hunty. No more tears. All right. Um, Freddie. Dark horse. I want to Dark horse. Islands, obviously, it's a dark horse. It's every, the, oh, the crowd went crazy for it. I mean, there are a lot of Irish people there. Yeah. A lot yeah. of Irish flags, so it's hard to know. But the crowd are <laughs> big fans. Y'all are so unprofessional. Yeah. <laughs> no. You, you We've said. got to get that clip from Marcus and Martinez. That he was said, classic. He said dark horse, and then I was like, so many horses this year. Oh, yes. It's a whole stable. <laughs> it's a whole stable. And there's Devin's agricultural comments all right so. all right what? i just want to say yes. how sad for france that oh, the vocal cracked God. on the last bit Is he a horse? he's been <laughs> uh, 
girl. Okay. He's been amazing every single time. And then the one, yeah. the jury show, the jury show. But I don't think the jury is going to penalize him because the other two minutes, 57 seconds were quite good. No, you can tell he's a strong performer. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go to bed, so I'm going to right. love you and leave. He Thanks. is exiting from this, and so we no, are going to finish, <laughs> wrap I, this I, up so that house guests <laughs> can go to bed. Um, final thoughts as we head into the final. Suzanne. <clears throat> I would just like to say that my personal top three this evening. Three, Switzerland. Two, Ireland. Oh. And one goes to, do you want to guess? Meow, meow. Meow, meow. <laughs> Croatia. Well, your turn. Your personal top three. Person oh, girlies, let's go to the Balkans. You know, hey. Uh, <laughs> You're talking about all the Balkans? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Croatia. Perfection. I really loved Serbia. I think I think Theodora did an amazing job. Let's not forget her, uh, because I, I heard you know some some media saying that actually Serbia could do very well with the juries, mm. and I I was like, mm, actually you know hey, uh, I would love to see that uh, because uh, she totally deserves that. Um, and the third. Um, I don't know. I, I really couldn't like watch the whole is, show, is actually. Is Croatia your number one? Yeah. And Serbia, Serbia is your number two? Yeah. Okay. And... Ah, uh, who was... Oh, Georgia was amazing. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. And Greece was amazing. But I think Georgia really, like, she oh, she sung her... How, her ass her, off. Her, her, her heart, heart I was going to oh. say. Girl, you and your asses... Don't put words oh. in his mouth. Literally. She also, though, people underestimate her power with the juries because she can sing. And every single angle, she hit it. Like, when she's walking past the camera, she's kind of brushing people off with her hands physically, and then she blows a kiss. It's so well-timed and yeah. so precise. Yeah, and, and she feels that that energy is there, and then she, she just... I don't know. She... It's like witnessing... You know the the meteor meteor hitting the the earth or something like that. Yeah. You know, like it was like so powerful. All right. Well, my personal top three. Let me just preface this by saying I want Croatia to win. Like I want Croatia to win. Full stop. Um, but my favorite performance was Ukraine. I just find it really really impactful. My second favorite is Croatia, and my third favorite. Oh, it's Norway. Ah, I knew it. Oh, my gosh. It's funny because I actually wasn't the biggest fan the first time I heard that. Really? Yeah, I thought it was fine. I always loved Norway. Well, no, because I was at the competition, so then I developed a special feeling for it because I was like, oh, we watched them win. But no, it's incredible. <laughs> it's incredible. Mm-hmm. Bridget, you sounded like Ducky Doo. Okay, we're going to go to sleep now. In any case, that's... Oh, wait, no. Before we go, I just want to remind you that this year we've partnered with Match Bingo in the UK to help raise funds for the East Anglian Air Rescue. Matchbingo.com has a new gamified version of the Eurovision final, so you click on the link in the description or you scan this QR code and you can download the Eurovision game during the grand final tomorrow. You scratch off the numbers, so say 12 points to UK, you scratch it off. One to seven points for, well, Moldova's not here. Estonia, you scratch that off. You can win money by filling a row or filling the card, and all of the proceeds go to helping the East Anglian Air Service and their vital work providing medical assistance to those in need across the east of England. Can we clap for them? Shout out to the medical workers. Shout out to the rescuers. You are giving love, generosity. We want to support you. So y'all, download those bingo cards. And in any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Who is your jury winner for Eurovision 2024? And who do you think the jury will actually put on top? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, share, comment on all of our social media platforms. <laughs> and thank you so much once again for being with us in those uh, whole two weeks and also before that. Uh, and you I hope you enjoy Eurovision 2024 Grand Final and vote for your favorite. And vote for Croatia. Let's bring back Eurovision to the Balkans, girl. Come on, <laughs> let's do it. All right, we'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye.